Now, your Storm Tracker 22 forecast, certified most accurate by Weather 8. Things are calm in our area. They've had some severe weather over the central part of the United States. You can see where they're still dealing with flooding over Arkansas and some stronger storms over Oklahoma. Here we have some storms down to our southeast, but everything's staying off the coast. And you can see we've got some clouds, but things are calm in our area. Take a look outside. You notice a little bit of light cloud coverage, but you can still see cars moving along the Talmadge Bridge, so nothing to obstruct you weather wise this morning as you head out the door, except maybe that heat already in the mid 70s. Winds fairly calm, but it's still got a southerly component a little bit out of the west if you do have some that's going to have that humidity be your factor and not just today but the next several days unfortunately we're looking at a warm one a front moves in but things still are going to stay a little on that hot side you can see we're already on that warm side tybee island hilton head mid to upper 70s you get a little further inland you get some low 70s but nobody in the 60s this morning if you look at your weather headlines today hot and dry dry as far as no rain but like i said you're going to be sweating if you spend much time outside humidity will be increasing this week isolated shower chances they're going to return Tuesday. Now some folks in the western part of the state could have some showers today. They look to really stay out of our area, but you could have a 20% chance if you are in those counties that do stretch the western part of where we are. Now most everybody else you're just going to have plenty of sunshine. So get that sunscreen before you head out the door today because like you can see those storms do want to stay off to the west. It's not going to stop those temperatures. We're going to be in the mid to upper 90s. We haven't hit above 95 since October of last year. We got to 97 October the 4th. Today we're going to be close to that. Now the record's at 101. I don't see any hundreds out there, but everybody's going to be close to that 90 degree mark. And if you are inland, you're going to be in the mid 90s, feeling closer to 100 the next several days, Chris. And that's the norm until Wednesday. That front moves in late Wednesday into Thursday. Those rain chances look to be greatest on Wednesday, but once that system moves in, we will keep those rain chances around on that seven day forecast. So today